why is subtraction so difficult? Let's start off with a fairly simple um, question. 93 minus 67. If we subtract 7 from 3, it will lead with us with negative numbers. And of course, that's the complication. So one way I can get around that is by uh, using a process known as decomposition, which effectively means breaking the number down. If I go into the tens column, I can take 10 away from 90. So taking 10 away from 90 leaves me with 80 or 8 tens. And I can place the 10, effectively transfer it into the units column, there to make that 13. The, n the value of the top number hasn't changed. I've now got 80 and 13, which together make 93. But by breaking it or rearranging the number in this way, it does make the calculation slightly easier. I can now subtract 7 from 13 without too much difficulty. That leaves me with 6. I, I can subtract the 6 tens from the 8 tens, which leaves me with 20, and combined they make an answer of 26. Um, the problem with decomposition is that many children find it quite hard to remember the procedures. So what we now use in some schools is a more expanded method. So if I take the same calculation again, 93 subtract 67, I can expand it slightly into the place value parts like this. 90 plus 3 take away 60 plus 7. By expanding the number in this way, we can see the true value of the numbers, and we can also see the true value of the problem, that 7 is still difficult to subtract from 3, but by rearranging the numbers, by changing this into an 80, and there's a clear reference there to the fact that that is 80 and not 8, and now placing the 10, we can use an arrow to show that in the units column. We have a slightly more transparent um, question now of 13 subtract 7 is 6, and 80 subtract 60 is 20. And combine these two differences will give us the answer of 26. An alternative to the expanded method is to use the number line as an informal jottings method. If I go back to the original question of 93 minus 67, what I can do is plot the differences between these two numbers. What you encourage children to do is make um, meaningful jumps to multiples of 10. So for example, by adding 3, that will take me to 70. Adding 10 will take me to 80. A further 10 will take me to 90. And then one final jump of 3 will take me to 93. And then I can add up these steps to find the, the total difference. 10, 20, 23, 26. Eventually, children become more efficient in the use of this method, and it can also become a useful mental method as well. If we take a slightly more complicated question, for example, 208 minus um, 59, I can plot those two differences. 59 here, 208 there. Using my knowledge of bonds to 100, I know it's a step of... 41 to take me to 100. And I could do the second step of 100 and then a further step of 8, but since I know it's 108, I can find that difference quite easily. My second step is therefore 108. And by combining those two numbers together, 108 plus 41, I find the difference of 149. So it becomes far more efficient and also a good mental method as well.